Hi guys, Julie Mootlag here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a subscriber and returning to watch this video, welcome back. I have a super exciting fragrance to introduce you guys to today. And I guarantee you this is not a fragrance that anyone you know has um, because it's not available, at least not in the US and it's very, very hard to find right now. It will become easier, and I'll talk about that a little bit later, but the fragrance I am speaking of is Duquesa. So I wanna just let you know what I think of it and how I got it. So I have a little surprise for you guys to tell you how I actually got a bottle of the fragrance. So let's get to it. So first up, let's talk about the packaging. So this is the actual box that it comes in. It's very nice, very elegant. It's got the black with the gold and says Duquesa across the bottom. And it is by Greeti. So um, a man named Luca Greeti um, actually created this fragrance. And from what I understand and have read about him, he's actually quite brilliant and has other fragrances as well. So um, once you open this up, there is a beautiful velvety um, box inside. And again, it's got the big gold letters, it's got a gold base, and when you open it, the gorgeous bottle of Duquesa sits inside, and it's really, really heavy. Um, so it feels very um, expensive and high quality. Um, so I really, really like that about it. The other thing that I love is the shape of the bottle. It's totally different, right? Um, I don't know, I just, I really like this and I love the gold cap, which is also really, really heavy, um, which is probably heavier than the actual bottle itself, if I'm being honest. Um, but this is such a beautiful bottle and it's just, you can't really see, but it's, it's very velvety. And then here's the gold um, plated name across the front. So very, very gorgeous. So let's start with the notes. This is a cherry fragrance and is, I would say, comparable to Lost Cherry, but, 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 it is what, in my opinion, Lost Cherry wanted to be. This fragrance is what I have been looking for in a cherry fragrance. It just knocked it out of the park. So the top notes are sour cherry, it's got some bitter orange, um, maybe some saffron, and I believe peach. So those are the top notes. So the middle notes are jasmine, white florals, um, star anise, I believe, and some clove. The base notes are going to be the sweet almond, kind of the nutty notes, um, iris, um, some patchouli, definitely a little patchouli, um, and a sweet note, like sugar, I think is what they have listed, but it's very sweet. And this fragrance is just hands down the best, best fragrance, especially a cherry fragrance that I have smelled in a really long time. So much so that this fragrance made it to my top five instantly. And after wearing it a few times, it has now become one of my top three and probably in competition for number one. So it's definitely top two now, um, but just an overall great fragrance. So let's talk about how it smells. So let's talk about what this fragrance smells like. I'm actually gonna spray it on so I can get the kind of scent as I'm wearing it. Um, I will say that the atomizer is not the best I've ever had, um, but it's not terrible either. It just, uh, it's not quite as smooth as some of the other ones I have, like the um, Zerzhoffs or um, any of the Roja Doves, uh, but I think maybe they'll get there one day, but it's, it's not terrible. Um, it's just noticeable that it's not quite perfect yet. 
um, but when I spray it on, so I get the um, a, a, the bitter cherry like right off the top. I can smell that very strong in the top. I also get the almond right away um, and a little bit of the orange and saffron, um, but I can also smell some of the iris, a little bit of the patchouli. So to me, this fragrance, it smells sweet. You know, I smell the almond, um, maybe a little bit warm, spicy. Um, the notes don't have vanilla listed in it, but I swear I pick up a little bit of a vanilla note. Um, maybe that's the almond that's coming through and, and kind of some of the powderiness that I smell. If you don't, if you haven't watched my other videos and you don't know me, I love powdery scents. Um, and I love this one because it does, as it dries down, it does settle into kind of a powdery scent. Um, and you never lose that kind of almondy, um, nutty smell to it. And the entire performance, you still get some of that cherry as well. So none of that goes away. Hands down, best cherry fragrance on the market right now, in my opinion. Um, it's also a little fruity. It's got the white florals. You can get that as well. Um, and like I said, I pick up on the patchouli and the iris as well. So who would wear this fragrance? I think that this fragrance in particular definitely leans feminine. Um, I like it uh, for women. I think it would, it's just, it's very sexy. It's very sultry. I would say it's very plush. Um, and I think that it's good for all seasons. I don't think you would have to isolate it to either summer or winter. But I think that you could really just pull it off any time of year. Um, it might be extra special in the fall because it does kind of have this like warm, cozy, sensual feel to it. Um, and I really like that. But I still, it's summer here and I've been wearing it during the summer. Um, and it it's just fine. It's actually really great. And I'm about to go to the beach and taking this with me as well. So um, the reason I'm taking it with me is because I think it's such a gorgeous fragrance. It's really nice. It's sweet. You can wear it um, on date night or night out on the beach. So that's why I'm taking it. But you could definitely wear this date night anytime. Um, now, as for men, I definitely could see men um, being able to pull this off because it's one of those fragrances that when you get up close to someone and you smell it on them. It's not a loud fragrance. It's not super in your face. It's kind of, um, it just smells great. And it's kind of like a laid back and comfortable feeling and, and smell. So if I were to smell this on a man, I would think it was really sexy and I would want to get closer to him. So, and I'm assuming that that's how men would probably um, like it on a woman. My husband smelled it and he said that he absolutely loved it. It was very sexy and that it smelled really, really good. It's very pleasant. Um, I think that Duquesa is going to be a top seller for this brand 100% because it is such a pleasant smell. It's a crowd pleaser. Um, I don't think that there's going to be a lot of people that don't like this, if not absolutely love it and go crazy for it. So. I did, I didn't know what to expect. It was a blind buy for me, but once I got it, um, I, oh my gosh, I knew that it was something that would probably um, find a permanent position in my uh, collection. And hands down, it is that, it will be in my collection for a long time, as long as I can get my hands on it. Um, if not, um, it's totally worth a, a backup bottle. So I see myself getting one of those as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, this this fragrance, you could really wear it um, any season. I think it would be great on date night. Um, I think it's even office appropriate. It may be a tad bit strong for the office, but I would still wear it to the office. So um, you could do that as well, but definitely um, you could also get away with this um, at a formal event. Um, I certainly would wear it to a wedding. And I would even argue that this could be a nice um, uh, bridal wet, bridal fragrance. Um, it's not your floral bridal fra fragrance like a lot of brides would want. It's um, it's it's more on the gourmand side, but because it has the white florals in it, I definitely think you could wear it on your wedding day for sure. 
Um, but this, guys, I think this is going to be wildly popular. I think that you all will absolutely love it when you get your hands on it. Um, I do not think it will let you down in any way, shape, or form. So, I mean, if I had to rate this fragrance on the smell alone, it's a, it's an 11 out of 10. It's It's that good. Now, as far as performance, it does have a pretty strong um, start. So when you first spray it on, you get the loud cherry um, and some of the other notes like the orange, and then you know it dries down a little bit with the almond and iris. It gets it becomes a little powdery, um, but it lasts a really, really long time. Even though it becomes more subtle over time. And it's just a very smooth, almost creamy, silky, um, almondy, and, and cherry note. Um, it's very smooth and it lasts for a long time. I can smell it on my skin and on my clothes at night after I put it on and applied it in the morning. Um, and then once I go to do my laundry and I'm, you know, putting my clothes in the in the washing machine, I can still smell it on my clothes days later. So there's performance, there is longevity, and the scent is just superb. So when, um, as a blind buy for me, I absolutely love it. Um, so next up, I wanna tell you how to get your hands on it. From what I understand, um, this fragrance is going to be available to buy on the Greety website um, very soon but they're also looking at making it available in the US. So soon you'll be able to go directly to their website and buy it, but I would like to tell you how I got it. So I did a lot of research on where to buy this fragrance and it's an Italian um, fragrance house and they have a lot of different fragrances in the house, but it's really hard to find because you can't actually buy it on the website yet, like I just said. Um, so I started searching Italian um, perfume websites and I found one that has it, which I'm going to put right here and I will also link it down below. Um, so I have ordered a few bottles from this company and they're totally legit. I got my packages all within seven days. Um, I think one may have been 10 days, but I, I got them all in a very timely manner and they were packaged exquisitely, very protected. Um, everything was superb and as you would expect it to be um, with the price tag it has, which we'll talk about in a second. But um, I, I highly recommend this company. If you, if you wanna try it and you have um, you know, the budget to buy a new fragrance, then I definitely think that Greedy should be your next one because Duquesa is off the charts amazing. So um, I think the price I paid for it was around 300 to 320. Um, uh, it's a little on the pricey side, but it is in my opinion, uh, better than some of the fragrances I have that are $700 a bottle. This one is just so amazing. I absolutely love it. I think I've said that 500 times in this video, but um, that's how much I like it. I really think that you're gonna love it too. So if you if you have plans to order a new fragrance and you want that kind of cherry, almondy scent, this one is your fragrance, hands down. So I hope you guys order it. If you do, please let me know in the comments below what you think about it once you get it. Um, also, if you have any fragrances that you love and you know that not a lot of people have, or maybe they're new and I just haven't smelled it yet, I also want to hear about those. So feel free to comment below as well. Um, and also, if you like the content of this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. You know the YouTube analytics. It's, it's always a good thing. So just let me know what you think in general. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great summer. Have fun on your vacations and remember to smell good doing it. Bye.